Growing up near green spaces lowers the risk of harmful aging and disease, even without exercise. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Well, I'm already ahead because I am in the sticks. <laughs> a new study reveals children who visit or live near green spaces suffer from less cellular stress that can cause harmful aging and disease. A team from the Barcelona Institute for Global Health add that exposure to vegetation alone, not physical exercise, likely makes the difference. Scientists found that children exposed to green spaces had lower levels of oxidative stress. Here's the key, people. Your children have to go outside. <laughs> That's what's on the other side of the front door. Yes, it's big and maybe even show them what a bat and ball is. I, I think we played outside every day after school. No cell phones. We burned all that energy. We stayed healthy, had to be home before the streetlights came on, and we were tired at the end of the day running around in Fortnite or Space Invaders or whatever the kids are playing on their doodads and gizmos these days will not keep you healthy. <laughs> now get off my lawn. <laughs> Actually, seriously, speaking of lawns, the team in Spain believes green spaces could help limit the damage caused by oxidative stress. That's when there is an imbalance between the number of harmful oxygen-containing molecules, free radicals are called, and antioxidants in the body. The permanent damage free radicals can trigger includes accelerated aging and the development of illnesses like cancer or Alzheimer's disease. The researchers analyzed 323 healthy children between 8 and 11 years old from five primary schools in Asti, a small city in northwestern Italy. Their parents filled out a questionnaire revealing how often their children engaged in physical exercise. Study authors then calculated each kid's level of oxidative stress by measuring the concentration of compounds in their urine. Oh, <laughs> good morning, kids. Pee in a cup. <laughs> Researchers also used the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, that's the NDVI to those familiar with it, to figure out how much greenery kids had around their home and school. Results show children with more exposure to vegetation had lower levels of oxidative stress. Scientists say there are several reasons why green spaces may be so beneficial. They say that spending time in green spaces could also expose kids to more sunlight and increased vitamin D levels. Studies show vitamin D acts like an antioxidant, which prevents the negative effects of oxidative stress and inflammation. Hence the word antioxidant. See? You knew it was in there. Last but not least, having more green spaces and plants could also improve the air quality in urban areas where kids live and play. In other words, staying inside, less fresh air, bad, going outside to a park, getting fresh air and sunshine, good. <laughs> the team did not see any correlation with exercise and green spaces, saying benefits coming from nature don't require kids to actually be more physical. But I have a feeling that they naturally just are when they're outside, but that's just me. Check out more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.